I'm Alex Ronsley and welcome to another episode of The Week That Was. We're going to look back at the Big Kings home opener on Saturday night. In fact, both the games from the weekend doubleheader against the Cowichan Valley Capitals. Highlights from both of those games to come in the show. We'll also take a look at where the Kings are heading this upcoming weekend. But first, back to Saturday night and the moment that Kings fans in Power River had been waiting for, the home opener. Now, last year it came in the very first game of the season. This year, Kings fans had to wait as game number six ended up being game number one on home ice. The Kings had been worked hard all week at practice and it showed on Saturday night. Uh, this is their first real shift of this hockey game and no guard we saw uh, in the showcase uh, can be very, very uh, tough in the corners and hard to get the puck off of. Big, big guy is Luke Norgard from Hamilton. Wrap around, they score! Koshal's first of the season. Broken play from nothing, just J.J. Colshaw stepping out unopposed, wraparound, snuck pass, done. And the Kings have the game's first goal, it's one to nothing. For Brown, just outside of the face-off circle, sets up Bestel, pass on his wrong side. One time slap pass down low, Emo, they score! To the side of the net, it's Ryan Haynes, he scored three goals last night against the Clippers, he's got one here this, after, this evening against the Kings. And it's a 1-1 game on a 5-on-3 power play goal. Was, uh, is that Paddock once again? That's the third big hit he's taken recently. Kings in, Scarth across the blue line to the faceoff dot. Centering feet, they score! It's Hiff's first! Through the paint, the top of the crease, Hiff was the trailer. And the Kings take the lead here with 15-12 left in the second period. It's Stephen Hiff's first BCHL goal. It's 2-1. to one. Pass over Joyo, left point, high slot. Now skates, walks the line to Coleshaw. Faceoff dot, blocker safe. Rebound loose in front. And that's cleared, not out though, as the Kings able to hold that in. Scarth for Norgard, has some time, a shot scores! Luke Norgard with some space, with some time, makes no mistake, it's his second of the season. The Kings double the lead, it's 3-1. to one. Uh, Coming all alone in the slot, and he fired it off the blocker again, a done. Norgard sending that, they score, tipped in front. Who's got it? Norgard sent that in on net. And a goal there, it's what, Parker, I think? Yeah, Bradley Parker. So Bradley Parker, his first BCHL goal. Luke Norgard threw that through the middle and Parker deflecting it on net. It's 4-1. to one. A little bit of miscommunication at the bench as Villeneuve was already heading off and Emu out of his net to play. The puck in front, the cap score. Ugly goal given up by the Kings as the Capitals' Grant Nicholson burying one home as Emu got caught behind his cage. The lead is cut to two, it's 4-2. to two. Joyal still in the slot. One at a one time, settled it down, shot. Blocked in front there by Zhang, or Bruce, excuse me, back to the point for Joyal. A little one-time give and go there from Tegan Wa, wants it back. Face-off circle, slap pass, Leung controls it, couldn't pull the trigger, spinning, firing, what a save by Dunn. Loose puck, backhanding it towards the goal, still loose in front, Leung swatting at it, and it just goes to the outside. Back the other way, he scores! Jared Leung finally capping off a wild flurry in front. Leung scoring his third of the season. They've all been on the power play and the Kings lead five to two. So a great hardworking effort from the Kings. Traditional Kings hockey is Luke Norgard getting four points, one goal, three assists. In fact, his whole line was fantastic all night long with JJ Colshaw and Brad Parker also getting in on the scoring. Jared Leung scored his third power play goal of the season. Steve Hiff getting off the mark as well in a big five to win. Jonah Emo picking up 16 saves from 18 shots for his second win of the season. Now the next afternoon it was back here on home ice for the second leg of the doubleheader against the Cowichan Valley Capitals. Now we profiled on the broadcast that doubleheaders can have two different faces, often a different game the next day around. Kings and Caps came out both strong on Sunday. And uh, it was Durantes to send it around far side. Villeneuve to the point, wrist shot from Paddock blocked in front. DuPont has it backhand through the top of the blue paint and wide as Villeneuve in the corner. Shoved off the puck there by Stevens. Mueller backhand straight to Villeneuve. Spinning face off dot. Firing the shot. Scores! JP Villeneuve scores with a minute 35 left in the frame. Threw some traffic and five hole on Derek Dunn. It's one to nothing. Uh, Durante's hold down. Now Burns through the middle of the ice. This is Jordan Burns. Faked a shot to the outside. Now the hash marks through the middle. Villeneuve dropped past Durante's. The shot scores! No doubt to Drew Durante, second of the game. The Kings double the lead here late in the second with 5.32 remaining. It's two to nothing. To the outside, Bruce fanning on a shot, had it come off his stick, and now Hiff through the middle intended for Durante. It's interesting to see no uh, Teal Burns. So I think, Andy, you were right. It is, it is uh, indeed a game for Teal Burns. It was announced 2-10 and 10 
as Wah into the boards. Takes the puck out in front. Hiff has it. The shot scores! Pretty similar play to earlier on as Wah. Just a seeing eye pass over to Stephen Hiff. Had a chance in the second. Missed. Buries it now. It's Hiff's second of the season. And it's 3 0. In the corner there. Back to the faceoff dot. Stevens lost it. Haynes shot. Blocked in front. Caps, they score. In front, it's Steen Cooper right on the doorstep. A loose puck in front. He's able to bat it home. With a minute 10, the shutout bid for Jordan Emo is done. The Kings scoring once in each of the three periods. Drew Durantes getting a goal, and that goal I credited to Villeneuve on the broadcast. You heard the highlight just a few moments ago. Indeed, two Durantes. It's not on the highlight, but you heard after if you were listening to the broadcast that we said, hey, it might have come off Durantes' stick. Ended up coming off his leg, according to assistant coach Derek Baczynski. So Drew Durantes with a pair of goals, his first two in the BCHL. It was Stephen Hiff adding his second of the season as well to make it a 3-1 win. Jonah Emo unfortunately missing out on the shutout by about a minute and 10 seconds. He stopped 20 of 21. So that brings us to the standings and the Kings shooting up and well positioned in the Island Division. It's still Victoria who leads. Nanaimo is there as well around the Kings and they do have a few games in hand early on in the season. And coming up this weekend, it is a big, big road trip for the Kings as they will hit the road for three games in two and a half days. Firstly, in Chilliwack on Friday night, a 7 o'clock start against the Chiefs at the Prospera Center and then the big one. Saturday evening against the Penticton V's. It's the home opener for the V's. So the Kings will have to watch the uh, Fred Page Cup banner, the RBC Royal Bank Cup, the national championship be presented to the Penticton V's during that game. Sunday afternoon, the road trip finishes up in trail. And we'll be back next week with another episode of The Week That Was featuring all the highlights, news, and interviews from the Kings Kingdom during the last set of seven. Bye now.